In this video, I'll be showing you guys an updated method of how to skip the wait time on GeForce Now without changing servers. So before I show you guys this method, I'm going to show you guys how much my queue is currently. So if I click play, as you can see, my queue is 414, which is obviously a lot. With this method, you'll have no wait time whatsoever. So the first thing you're going to do is uninstall GeForce Now. So you're going to click Windows key and R at the same time. You'll see this run window pop up. And from here, you're going to click, you're going to type in appwiz.cpl. So I already have it typed in here. I'm just going to click OK. And then from here, you're going to scroll down until you can see NVIDIA GeForce Now. At the top, you'll see uninstall slash change. You're going to click on that. And you'll get this pop up right over here saying, do you really want to remove GeForce Now? Click uninstall over here. And now it's just going to be uninstalling. Click close. If you're on browser, then you're going to have to clear all your browser history. So now that we have uninstalled GeForce Now, you're going to go straight into your browser and you're going to go to the NVIDIA GeForce Now download website. And from here, you're going to click on this icon right at the top, this account icon. And from here, you're going to get redirected to your NVIDIA account. So what we want to do here essentially is click on use a different account and we want to make a new account. So I'll be back when I make a new account. So now that I've made the account, I'm just going to go straight and click join now over here. You'll be redirected to this page right over here where you can choose your membership. So I'm going to click on free. I'm going to click select over here. And then from here, I'm just going to download. So since I'm on Windows, I'm just going to click download right over here. And I'll wait for this to download. So once it downloads, I'm going to click on the download file right over here. And you'll see this page pop up right over here. So you're just going to wait for it to download. And I'll be back with this as well. Once it downloads, it should automatically open up. So you're going to be prompted over here. You're going to click agree and continue. And then you're just going to click on login at the top. When you get redirected to this page, you're going to click on your new account that you made. So I'm going to click on the new account that I made right here. So now once I'm done this, I'm going to go back to GeForce now. And I'll be signed in right over here. So I'm just going to search up any game. So I'm just going to search up Fortnite, for example. And then I'm going to click play. And you do need to connect your Epic Games account. So I'll be back for that as well. So now that I've connected my account, I'm going to go and search up Fortnite again. And I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click play. And obviously the analyzing network pop up will show up. So you're just going to have to wait for that. So as you can see, with this fix, I only have 13 people ahead of me compared to the 400 people I already had before this. So obviously, this method is a lot better compared to the server switching method since you will almost instantly load in as you guys can see. It really only takes about 4-5 to five seconds. You can also switch servers as well with this method if the player amount is a bit higher to make sure you queue instantly. If you find that with your new account, your wait times are getting longer, then you can just simply make another account as well. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.